Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 3 of my Rainbow Six Mailbox series. A series where you guys send in your questions, suggestions and ideas for Rainbow Six Siege and we go over them as a community. Now just like always, if you guys have your own questions, suggestions or ideas then leave them down in the comment section and you might be featured in the next episode. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into comment number 1. Now comment number 1 comes from someone called Demon Andrian. He says, do you think Ubisoft should do another opera? a remake if yes then who now i don't know about you guys but when i was looking at all the operators in rainbow six siege i think most of them are in a pretty good spot right now i think the shield meta is going to be coming to an end pretty soon uh, and with it we'll have to wait and see what the next meta of rainbow six siege will be but i don't think there's any standout operators that are absolutely useless right now so to answer your question demon i don't think there should be another operator remake i can only think of a few small buffs buff number one that i would like to see is is to gridlock making her tracks stingers bulletproof i think this would help her a little bit more maybe if you wanted to you could make them deal less damage or something like that but i think having them bulletproof makes them a lot more useful in the situation that they are because other than a post plant situation she's not really that great as a flank watch operator so i think it would just make her more viable an interesting one that i saw for amaru is allowing her to be able to repel up to you know parts of the map that have banisters in I can think of Cafe Dostoyevsky and obviously the main entrance of Bank. This would be a pretty useless change, but I do think it is something that would allow for some interesting plays on those maps specifically. And to be honest, I don't know why Ubisoft don't do it. And then out of all the operators in Siege, I think the one who needs a buff the most right now is probably Oryx. I think Oryx is in a pretty bad spot. I mean, other than the fact that he's got the T5 SMG, he's not really that great of an operator. His gadget isn't really that good. I've seen suggestions by the likes of kudos and stuff where you know maybe oryx should be able to jump into the roof of buildings if they have a hatch leading to the roof i don't like that idea i think it would encourage like a lot of spawn peeking and obviously then attackers wouldn't be safe on the roof which might be a good thing but i don't think it would be so my question to you guys the viewers is what do you think ubisoft should do which operator in siege needs a buff the most and i want to see your guys suggestions for the next episode speaking of operator buffs the second comment comes from someone called Jeff. Jester King X and he comments saying what are your thoughts on this Echo rework? Give Echo an EMP setting on his drone so that he can become a temporary wall denial like Tuberal. Give it the same time as a bulletproof can, reduce his concussions and maybe remove his ACOG for balancing and relevance purposes. He thinks that this would be a good change. Now the first thing I did when I read this comment is I went straight to the most recent win deltas for Rainbow Six Siege just to see where Echo was at because in my personal opinion I don't think he really needs a buff. And when I went and looked at the wind deltas and pick rates for echo himself on console he is perfectly balanced there is a good pick rate for him he sat right in the middle of the screen which means he is the most balanced operator pretty much on defense for console now on the attacker side if anything he is still balanced he has a good win rate it's just that he's not really getting picked so i think it's more of a desirability kind of thing like no one really wants to play echo in this current meta that we have going on i don't think it actually has anything to do with him being underpowered so no i don't really think echo needs a change of rework a buff or a nerf but your idea of an emp drone could be pretty cool in the future maybe as an echo rework or maybe as a new operator now comment number three is actually a pretty fun one it comes from someone called connor muller and he comments saying do you think we will ever get a live adaptation of rainbow six just like the Jack Ryan series. Now what he means is the Rainbow Six Siege lore and stuff being turned into a live adaptation, a film or a TV series, something along those lines where real people play the characters from Siege and we get to watch it as a show. Now personally I think it would make for a great show. Having a film based around the white masks and having all of the most elite operators from every different nation across the world would make for a great film. Now if Ubisoft went ahead for this I had three recommendations of just people who look similar to operators within Siege. The first one would be Pulse. I think Jason Statham would be a perfect pick for Pulse. And then the second one, which has been kind of like a running meme in the community, is Ryan Gosling playing Buck because they also look quite similar. 
However, with that being said, I don't think a live adaptation is something that we are likely to see. If anything, I think Ubisoft would probably try and turn it into an anime, kind of like in a similar style to all of the cinematics that we've been getting. And to be honest, I think that would absolutely slap. I don't know why Ubisoft haven't done something like this already. I think having a Netflix anime show would go absolutely insane and it would probably make them quite a lot of revenue. Either way, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see a live adaptation of R6? Would you like to see it in an anime animated style or do you think they should go without it which then leads on into our final comment of the video and this one is an interesting take on some of the things i was suggesting in the last video it's kind of like an opinion on siege in general no hate to this guy at all and he comments saying just pumping out new shiny things are not healthy for the game in my opinion i hope they don't add any new operators there are already too many i would rather see balancing changes and more reworks and more focus on maps that should be enough to keep the game good and refreshing if you need a new toy every 90 days for the game to be good then it is not a good game now for me personally i do agree things like operators and maps i don't think we necessarily need one every single season but i think when we see a roadmap for siege for the next year i think it is good that we at least have at least two new operators and to be honest i'd like to see two new maps for the next year of rainbow six siege as well even if we do end up having a season next year that doesn't have any new operators or any new maps an operator rework i am completely happy with if they end up reworking a map again that would be absolutely fine by me but the one thing i definitely do not like is when ubisoft completely skimp out on content entirely when we don't get many balancing changes we don't get anything that actually improves the game if they are going to be marketing and branding and pumping out this whole new thing about a brand new season I am expecting to see new things for that or at least some improvements on the season we had before otherwise it will just get stale but with that being said that has been it for today's video if you guys watched it this far and you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you guys are new around here and want to be notified the next time I post one of these videos like I said in the intro if you guys have any of your own questions suggestions or ideas about Rainbow Six Siege leave them down in the comment section and you might be picked to be featured in the next Next episode. But with that being said, click the video on screen, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.